What is going on guys? This is Earpugs, and in this video I am going to be covering diminishing returns, or DRs as they're referred to. What is a DR? It is simply an 18 second period of time that happens after a CC finishes, and during that 18 second period it's going to reduce that group of CCs by half on its next cast. Now that does sound a little confusing, so I'm going to show you in a quick video. So, you will see me get polymorphed. And I am now polymorphed for 10 seconds. As you can see, this is the full duration. And what happens if he was to polymorph me again is it's going to cut the time in half. So as you can see, now it is 5. Went from 10 to 5, and again it's going to cut it in half. That's going to make it 2.5. Now what happens after somebody's been CC'd 3 times with that group is it actually makes you immune for the next 18 seconds. And that is what's called a DR window, or if somebody says he's full DR, etc. Now this is super important to pay attention to, and you're probably wondering, well, how do I know? There's no way I can keep a timer. There's a lot of add-ons that actually track it for you. For example, the one that I use is called Gladi in TBC, and it's very, very helpful. Here is my personal Gladi profile, and as you can see on the left-hand side, we have the DRs. So if my teammates are CCing a target, I know exactly what DR they are on to avoid. And of course, we also have on the right side the trinket and racials. You can also add cooldowns here, and I'll just give you a quick uh, profile guide so you can set it up like this if you want to. When you first log into Gladi, it is going to look like this, which is absolutely horrendous. So we're going to go ahead and change that. We're going to type in slash Gladi UI. Then we are going to go to the X icon profiles, click on the classic profile, buffs and debuffs, disable that by unchecking it. General, we're going to go to the frame scale, erase that, make it 0.8, enter. And the last things is we're going to go to diminishings, make that 50. And now it is all set up in a pretty decent format. Of course, if you wanted to move it, you could go general, lock frame, and then move that around. You'll also see shadow sight. This just put that wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever you think is best, I put it here personally. And then we can drag to where we want, make sure we like the way it looks, and then lock it, of course. So as I mentioned before, a DR will always half the ability's duration. So for example, Poly was 10, 5, and 2.5, and Blind is also 10, 5, and then 2.5. Now certain abilities actually share DRs, and this happens to prevent you from creating an endless CC chain. For example, Blind and Clone share a DR. So what that means is if I was to Cyclone somebody for 6 seconds, and then somebody was to blind them out of that cyclone, the blind would actually be 5 seconds since both of those abilities share a DR. Here is an example video of me and my rogue using cyclone and blind in the worst possible format. First thing we're going to be doing is cycloning this warlock 2 times and then blinding late. Here is the cyclone as you can see, and I'm actually going to go ahead and pause it really quick. In the bottom right of the screen, you'll notice that there's no DR showing up yet, that's because DRs don't start ticking until after a CC finishes, not before. So just to clarify, the DR window, which is 18 seconds, is not going to start until after the CC finishes. So we're going to go ahead and play it now. DR window shows up. I reclone, and I'm going to pause it one more time. You'll notice that this cyclone is at half a second left. It says 15 seconds left on the DR window, right? It's going to refresh after this cyclone. So we're going to play it now and 18 seconds. So we have effectively CC'd him at the same group two times. Now, if he was to blind, my rogue that is, it's going to be a 2.5 second CC uh, since he's on the same DR as me and we only have five seconds left or so of that right now, uh, which he's gonna do. Boom, he blinds. And at the end of this blind, it's gonna reset it a third time. So absolutely horrible, seeing as he is now immune for the next 18 seconds because we use the same group three times, and we even did the third CC at the worst possible time, making it super short, and also resetting the DR once again. If you want to see a master list of all the diminishing returns in the game, I do have that in my Discord. It'll be in the description and also the pinned comment on this video. DRs are super important to pay attention to, especially if you get into higher rating, because once you start playing better players, they're not going to be overlapping and they're not going to be wasting CC, so if you are, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to lose. If the video did help you in any way, liking it is the biggest thank you you can give to me. And for more TBC Arena content, definitely subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.